Hello friends, this video in environment chemistry part 1 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. The objective of this lesson is to understand the meaning of environmental chemistry. To define atmospheric pollution and the list reasons for global warming. To understand greenhouse effect and acid rain. To identify the cause of ozone layer depletion and its effects. We also will give reasons for water pollution and we'll know about the international standards for drinking water. We'll understand what is soil pollution and we'll try to find the cause of soil pollution. We'll suggest some strategies to control the environmental pollution. We'll also appreciate the importance of green chemistry in day to day life. These are the things we'll cover in this chapter. First, we'll start with environment. Because the whole chapter is all about environmental chemistry, let's understand what is environment. So environment as per definition is nothing but the natural environment that encompass all living and non-living things that occur naturally. For example, if you see, there's a mountains here, right? There is a non-living thing, but that exists naturally. The animals, the cat, dogs, lions, whatever we have, animals, the fish, the fish, the whales, the birds. So everything that occurs naturally. Please note, the word nature is very critical here. And this is my environment. And my environment was very pure actually. But then what happened? All of a sudden, human, human came and agreed to earn more money and for more progress. What will happen is, we destroyed the nature actually. If you see, the nature is now almost, I can't say almost, but partially destroyed. You must have heard of the term called global warming, where we see the temperature of the earth is increasing day by day and the polar ice is melting and a lot of things are there in the news. This is all because of human. We, the human, have destroyed the nature. So this was a lovely nature. And what we have made is this. It's barren land, the trees are destroyed, more and more factors has come. The vehicles are polluting it and we are end of the day falling sick. You see, we are falling sick. We have seen a lot of new diseases coming. Why? Because of the impact in environment. And this chapter is all about the environment and how this environment has deteriorated and what can we do as a human because see if to protect it. If you see, if you, we stay in our home and we try to keep our home clean. But if you see from the bigger perspective, we all stay in our country. So as a good citizen of a country, we should try to keep our country clean. If you stay in the city, maybe we stay in a city, so we should try to keep our city clean. If you see in the bigger picture, since we all stay in the same environment, earth, right? We all stay, exist in earth. So in that case, it is our duty to make sure that earth is clean, the, the balance they kill on, the, 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 the national balance which we have, right, the, should be balanced, right? So we'll try to understand what has impacted the national balance and what can we do to improve it, correct? That's all we'll do. And to do this, we'll start with environmental chemistry. This is, this is the chapter where we'll understand how can we make earth a better place to live in. So what happened is, if you, as I told you, right, there was a good earth, there was a good nature and everything was pure and this due to industrialization and to greed for more money and uh, more comfort, we destroyed nature, right? The, it's all human, we destroyed nature. And then a group of people came that we have to save nature because people soon realize that if we keep on exploiting the earth, our siblings, our kids, they won't be able to see earth, right? They won't be able to see uh, the national environment. So we have to save the earth. So what they did, they told, okay, let's understand the cause of pollution. What is causing the pollution? Because the cities were all choked up, uh, the atmosphere, the air was polluted, sound pollution, noise pollution, or disease. So these guys told, okay, let's do one thing. Let's understand the cause of pollution. What is that thing which is causing the pollution? And then we can work on this. So they contacted chemists because it's all, you see everything, the chemical reaction is involved. If you talk about the pollution, the air pollution, the water pollution, soil pollution, everywhere you see some chemical reaction happening. 
right? So they told, okay, let, let's hire a chemist. And this guy came and told, I'm a chemist and I can find the color solution. So these guys told, okay, cool, you have, you know, we have someone we can rely on, these guys chemists can find us what is the cause of pollution. So these guys found the cause of pollution. And that's the whole study is called environmental chemistry, where we deal with, please note, we deal with study of ODG, transport, reactions, effects and fate of chemical species in the environment. Please note once again. This deals with study of origin where that particular chemical species which is causing pollution, for example, NO2, nitrogen oxide dioxide, this is a, a toxic gas, you can say, right? So this is causing pollution or CFC, this is a depleting ozone layer. So what is the origin of this? So they found that CFC is coming from refrigerator and ACs and I mean, there, there are ways to control that. So the first thing is, if you want to fix a problem, you know, you should know the origin of the problem. So they, this environmental chemistry deals with finding the origin of the chemical species which are polluting the earth or environment. Once the origin is found, what are the ways through which that particular species is transported? Because if you see some even if you see the villages and small towns where you don't have many vehicles but still you see the air is polluted there also because you know, uh, a lot of pollution or a lot of uh, particles which is the, in the air they flows and it, it, from uh, cities it goes to villages also right there is some transportation mode right through which the chemical species or the pollutants which are generated at one place is transported to another place so it's good to know about the mode of transport of a particular pollutant. What are the reactions involved? What are the reactions involved and what are the reactions which creates harmful chemicals? And also what is the effect of these chemicals on human beings and plants on animals, right? This effect should also be known. And what is the fate of this chemical species? Are they biodegradable? Will they go off? Or will they be always be environment? So those kind of things has to be known, right? So this environmental chemistry deals only with the study of what is the origin of the chemical species or the pollutants, what is the mode of transportation of the pollutant, what is the reactions involved, what is the effect of these on the human beings and the plants and the animals, and what is the fate of this chemical species, right? So that is all environmental chemistry, correct? So the question is, why should we study environmental chemistry? They told you now, right, the earth was is, is polluted now, right? Yeah, and since we, we live on earth, we, since we keep our house clean, so it's our duty to keep our earth clean also, right? So it's good to know the cause of the pollution so that we can fix it, correct? So if you see, earth now, the pollution has impacted the aquatic life a lot. We'll, we'll see on, on due course of time, and the aquatic life, the whole thing has been dismantled by pollution. You see the hair fall. Many of your friends must be complaining of hair fall. That is also because of pollution, mostly in water and air. The paints which we use to paint our house, that fades away easily. Why? Because of the pollution. We, we easily fell sick nowadays. Why? Because the food we eat is contaminated, the air we breathe is contaminated, the water we drink is contaminated. And that's why we see a lot of diseases also coming in, cancer, typhoid, cholera, it's all because of pollution. Pollution plays a major, major role in the health of a person. If you see the trees, because of the pollution, the growth is retarded for the tree. And that's all because of pollution. And pollution not only causes sickness, that can even cause death. People may die. Right? It's a big thing. You see the monuments, the, the, the what do you call it? the stones which are there in the monuments, they decay easily. Right? They corrode. The metals, they corrode. Why? Because of all of this happens because of pollution. So, it is very, very critical for us to understand the cause of pollution, why this is happening and somehow we can influence government to create some policies which can help to reduce the pollution or being a good citizen, we ourselves can adopt some um, practices which can help to reduce pollution. But to reduce pollution, the first thing is you need to understand the cause of pollution, right? And that's where 
you need environmental chemistry. And this pollution is impacting us because it is we. It is we who get sick. It is we who die. It is our plants which are getting impacted. It is we, we who lose hairs. It is we who are spending more money on the paints now, right? So, all because of pollution. So, it's good to understand pollution so that we can control this. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.